What's up, everybody, and welcome back to the Slayer's Den. Thank you guys again so, so much for joining me. It's Slay Anything, and today we are playing a brand new Azorius Jank deck that I think you guys are really going to enjoy. This one's called Jank Shit in standard Magic the Gathering Arena. Now, the deck is kind of like a combo deck that's built around a few cards, one of them being Orvar the Allform, which is a brand new Kaldheim creature, which I've used in a previous Changeling deck. Feel free to check it out if you haven't already. Orvar the Allform is a creature that has an ability that says whenever you cast an instant or sorcery spell, if it targets one or more other permanents you control, create a token that's a copy of one of those permanents. So basically, if we target any of our permanents with an instant or sorcery, we can create a copy of it. So this is really crazy. It's bonkers, especially in a deck that can really maximize the potential of that ability. The other part of the combo is this awesome card from M21, Shipwreck Dowser, which for three colorless, two blue, this is a merfolk wizard with prowess. It says when Shipwreck Dowser enters the battlefield, return target instant or sorcery card from your graveyard to your hand. So you can see just how powerful this synergizes with Orvar the all form because we can play an instant on Shipwreck Dowser, copy it, and bring that instant right back from our graveyard to our hand and cast it again on Shipwreck Dowser, creating another copy, pumping it up with the prowess ability. Not only that, we get to play the instant or sorcery once again. So as far as the instance and sorcery spells we've got in the deck, we have four copies of Defiant Strike. Target creature gets plus one plus zero until end of turn, and then we also get to draw a card. So most of the time we're going to be using this as like a card draw spell, but it can be definitely useful if we can pump up a creature by plus one. Not only that, that triggers Shipwreck Dowser's prowess ability. We've also got two copies of Shell Shield, which for a blue gives target creature plus zero plus three until end of turn. If we kick the Shell Shield spell for one colorless, the creature also also gains hexproof until end of turn. So this is valuable for a few reasons. It basically triggers Orvar the All Form's ability for one blue. Not only that, it helps us to protect Orvar and any of our key combo pieces. We've got two copies of Flicker of Fate, which for one colorless and a white, it's an instant that allows us to exile target creature or enchantment, then return it to the battlefield under its owner's control. So this is great for so many reasons. We can flicker so many things in this deck and get value, including a creature we're trying to protect and therefore creating a copy if we have an Orvar of our the all form out, we can flicker a Skyclave Apparition, which allows us to exile another target non-land, non-token permanent of our opponents and exile that and get it off the field. We can flicker a Solemn Simulacrum, which allows us to ramp even further. We can also flicker an Elspeth Conquers Death, which is just bonkers because basically we just keep exiling our opponent's permanents. We've got four copies of Into the Royal, which is an instant for one colorless and a blue, allows us to return target non-land permanent to its owner's hand if we kick the spell for a colorless and a blue. Blue, we also get to draw a card. So this is going to be pretty valuable when we need to find an answer in a pinch. Not only that, we get to return some pesky creatures that the opponents might have, and we also get to return a permanent of ours if we need to keep it safe from removal. Kind of at the top end, we've got a copy of Yorion Sky Nomad. Basically allows us to do a mass flicker effect so we can flick a whole bunch of things at once, including Charming Prince, Skyclave. If we want to copy something else with Glasspool Mimic, and of course Elspeth Conquers Death and Solemn Simulacrum. And at the very top end, we've got a copy of Dream Trawler, which is just a great beater. Um, it allows us to go over the top of opponents who have stalled the board with ground creatures. Not only that has life link, so it can help us get back in the game if our life totals drop too low. And uh, even better, it does gain hexproof if we discard a card, so it's a great evasive threat. Not only that, with Orvar's ability, if we target it with an instant, we can basically copy as many Dream Trawlers as we can afford to with our instants and sorceries. And that's a huge board of flying 3-5 flyers in the air that give us a whole bunch of life, so it's almost unstoppable once we get a, an army of Dream Trawlers out there. Overall, you can see just how janky the deck is, but it looks super fun. It seems like something that can definitely pop off if we get all the right pieces at the right time, and I'm super, super hyped to play this one for you guys. Thank you guys again so, so much for joining me. I really, really appreciate it. I've missed you guys. I've been out for a little bit due to some internet outages because of all the crazy weather that we've been having, but yeah, hopefully you guys enjoy this one, and if you did, please remember to to destroy the like and subscribe buttons below. It's not just a great way to support my channel, which means the world to me, guys, but it also allows the YouTube algorithm to share this video and the rest of my videos with even more MTG fans out there. It also shows YouTube that I'm not just some crappy content creator, I'm someone that you enjoy and someone that other MTG fans will enjoy as well. So thank you guys again so, so much. And without further ado, let's play some Magic the Gathering. Zobel 86. I can see holding on to this one.
Maybe a couple of turn two plays. A couple of black low tie to open. Okay. Let's play an island. Pass the turn. Perhaps we could even pass the germs. So we will henge gate pathway. Play the charming prince. Opponent's on what? Uh, Jeskai? Ugh, gross. Yeah, I hate to see it. All right, let's go and play Hench Gate Pathway and play ourselves a little Charmin Prince. And we'll just go and scry. Uh, drop both the islands, because that's crazy to try and keep two islands on top. All right, Zobel86, what you got going on? Mmm. We're going against Runestorm. Gross. But we need to get a white mana and just get rid of Rune Forge Champion, I think. Or they pop off with their runes. I wonder if this is like the one with Song of Creation, where they combo off like that. I don't know. That's a little janky. Rune of Sustenance. There we go. Let's go. Alright. We're gonna get rid of Rune Forge Champion. And you're never gonna see that again. No, you're never gonna see that again. Alright, so opponent plays Lava Glide Pathway. That sounds like a Taco Bell sponsored land. Right, Chatter Skull smashing. Just smashing. Alright, uh, we're gonna play an island. And I think we're just gonna pass. We're gonna do. Mm, well, we will attack actually. We'll attack and we'll get in for three, right? Because then we get to Defiant Strike, and then we get to try something else. Sweet. Alright. So now we can flicker. We can flicker our Elspeth Conquers Death. That's pretty saucy. Showdown of the Scals. You son of a gun. Alright, so we're playing against Boros Aggro. More like aggros. Hmm. We might ECD that just because they've got a lot of value here. They can usher to safety a shepherd. I mean, they can usher to a safety a showdown. Um, they can bergy, which would be just horrible as well. All right, so we'll play an island, and let's go ahead and skyclave apparition. Cause why not? Sure. At least this way, if they put a creature down and then, like, start popping off, they don't really get to put plus one, plus one counters on that creature. So they could play another showdown, but then they lose those cards. So, you know, we've got a few options. Getting them to play their second showdown is not too bad here, because they lose these three. Um... I think that'd be okay. They could also show down and then usher to safety, which is what I think they might do. Beergy. Okay, Beergy. I see you. Whenever you cast a spell, add a red mana. Sure. Uh, sure, sure, sure. So I get to swing in for four here. Uh, I think we just do no blocks. We take the four. Sure. Okay. So that's something we can ECD. Just fine. Can even Skyclave. I like being able to just ECD though, just to have kind of a clean answer to things. And then that way I can begin flickering the ECD as well to get rid of, you know, the shit in their hand, basically. Alright, opponent's thinking. Bears scratching their belly. All good things. Alright, Zobel86, what do you got going on? Little 86 is uh, running the rope, running the blue rope. Let's see what else they're planning to do. All right, let's go. All right, so they lose those cards. That's great. They'll love to see it. Uh, this is a henge gate as well. Let's just go in ECD. Beergy. You hate to see Beergy, don't you? We love to swing in for two. The opponent down to 13. Okay, opponent plays a land. Just take a look at what they've got in exile real quick. Okay, so they play Shepherd of the Flock as a creature. Interesting. 
and a rune of speed. Alrighty then. Okay. You got it, boss. <laughs> so now they can't protect that. So that's pretty sweet. So that means... I think we Skyclave Apparition, right? Let's go. I think we're just going for the swing here. The swing vote. And uh, yeah, hopefully they cast something that costs three or more. And then I can flicker Elspeth Conquer's death before the end of their turn. Allowing me to exile something nice and juicy. That is so perfect. Thank you. Alright, so they're going to attack phase. They get to create a treasure token. Not ideal, I'd say. Let's see if they start playing some stuff. Do they have, like, the pump spells? Alright, let's go ahead and flicker of fate. This. See what the opponent's got going on. And what's sick here is that I can shipwreck Dowser to bring back flicker of fate. And I can kind of repeat the cycle. So, they might have a way to bring it back, right? Or maybe not. How's about just ECD part 2, babe? And, uh, yeah, let's go and swing in. Let's shipwreck Dowser. Bring back Flicker O Fate. Don't you think about casting nothing? So, anything they play that costs three or more gets exiled, basically. They're kind of in a mini lock, and you love to see it. We love to see it, and we appreciate the idea of seeing it. Alright, let's go ahead and flicker here, I guess. <laughs> oh, hopefully they don't have an answer. I don't know what white has. White has some, you know, like, protection spells, of course. They're very annoying. But maybe they don't have it? Maybe they bounce this? If they bounce it, though, they don't get to cast it again. And then we have eight going in. So we love to see this. <laughs> uh, flickering ECD. Does it get any crazier than that? All right, Zobel86 is really pissed because they just roped me. Let's go. <laughs> oh, my God. All right, so let's see what they have. They have, like, Shatter the Sky here, which I don't think this deck runs. Um, that could be problematic, because they do get some creatures back. But we just swing in here. Yes, let's go! Get shipwrecked! <laughs> so stupid. It was beautiful, beautiful. Jasmuted is playing a Yorion deck. Gross. You don't like seeing that. Uh, we do have technically four lands in hand and a dowser, so we're going to keep it. We might be able to get something going on, hopefully. Uh, Plain Island. Pass the turn. Open up the Black Lotus. And um, let's play another island and just pass. Not much going on here, boss. Okay, so this is just going to be traditional Azorius control, maybe? Azorius Yorion control? Disgusting. You hate to see it. We hate to see it, and we disdain the idea of seeing this. Alright. So we don't have much action. This is some sad times for us. And, uh, yeah, we'll just pass. Couple of 1-1s one over here. Sure. Let's go ahead and uh, pump this little guy up. Should we have pumped it before combat, though? Help them get in a little extra damage. Alright, uh, let's play this and let's play a little Charming Prince. Let's see if we can get, draw out some counter spells. Ugh, yuck. And uh, yeah, let's scry two. Uh huh. Okay. Uh, island, not so much. Shipwreck, Dowser, not so much. Let's see if we can get our Orvar. I think we should go next. End the turn. I wonder if they have a Yorion in hand. 
Wouldn't that be something? Okay. Well, let's go ahead and uh, charm and print, or defiant strike or charm and prints. You know the opponent's holding counter spells like a total dick. You hate to see it. We dislike the idea of seeing it, folks. Eh, huh. Okay. Let's play. Hmm. What do we play here, actually? Guess we shatter here? Is that weird? Is it weird to shatter? Let's draw out the counter spell, actually. That's what we do. We draw out the counter spell, so that way when they Yorion, they flicker all this shit, and then we shatter this guy. Oh ho ho ho. Okay, sweet. So just your typical asshole Azorius control. Don't think our deck is quite as fancy schmancy. Okay, so let's go ahead and play this. Uh, I think we should go next and the turn. And it's likely that we may end the germs as well, which would be so unfortunate. <laughs> All right, so we take four. Take four, everybody. And let's go ahead and... Bounce this, I guess. To their hand. Draw a couple cards. Oh, okay. More counter spells, you say? Alright, so let's go and play... I guess an island. Right? Play an island. And... Let's go ahead and just draw a card. See what we can find. Well, off the top. Sweet. Okay. Well, so we've got a few pretty saucy options here. Um, let's play an ore bar. I'm cool with letting them just waste their counter spells. Next. End the turn. Then we can pull a few shenanigans off, I think. Yorion, you son of a bitch. Okay, that's fine. Alright, we pass here. Pass with Orva. The opponent has one white mana available. Okie dokie. Sure. That's a lot of creatures you got there, sir. Heck of a lot of creatures you got there. Okay, uh, yep, yeah, my turn. Heck of a lot of creatures you got there, sir. And yeah, we just go next. End the turn. Uh. Fuck you, Ugin. Alright, so we need ECD, which we do not have. We do not have that. Alright, so let's go ahead and grab a... Let's... Skyclave. Let's grab this back. Okay, so we flick this, they get that, that's kind of dumb. So let's just go ahead and scry or gain life. I think we scry for an answer. Is that the answer we're looking for? Don't think so? Could be though. Alright, we'll hold on to it. Then we will Glass Pool Mimic. Charming Prince, right? Let's gain three life. Let's gain tres a life. This is such a stupid game. Like, once they have, like, Ugin out, it's pretty dumb. Alright, so, sure, I'll creature, sure. Right. Ugin does three to me. Alright, so let's go ahead and... I guess we... I guess we return this. See if they've got a mystical dispute for us. Gates. All right. Well, fuck you, fuck you, Jazz Muted. So stupid. Just play Ugin. 
that's all you gotta do, guys. If you wanna win the game, play an Ugin. Totes, ba goats. Okay. So, the reason to keep this hand is because we've gone completely insane. Because we don't have white mana. So we definitely got to drop this hand, pick up a fresh six. This is looking a lot better. We'll keep this. And what do we want to drop here? I suppose the Defiant Strike, just because we don't necessarily have a creature we'd want to use this on. However, hold up. Put this back. Open up the Flicker. We'll keep this. Open up the Black Lotus against Totes Bar Goats. Short Sword. All right. I'm already worried. I'm already worried about Short Sword, guys. What is this? Short Sword Tribal? I want to place Rimrock Knight. Gross. Let's go and give this bad boy plus one plus zero. Hooking you up, brother. And let's play. Planes. Let's see what the opponent does. Do they equip the short sword onto the Rimrock Knight? The Rimrock Knight clearly prefers pickaxes. I don't think you should do it. Oh, dub. That's terrible. Alright. Play an island. And let's go in and Skyclave, I guess. A little two for one. A little two for. We are working our way toward Elspeth Conquers Death if they cast something big like that. Hmm. Okay, so we play the second island. And I want to say we Skyclave that as well, right? I also want to say we swing in for two. Let's go. And now Shell Shield could prove valuable here. Uh, Boros may run burn spells. I'm not actually sure what this particular deck runs. It's like a weird night deck. Okay. A 3-3 three, three Inspiring Veteran. Sure. And uh, my turn. So let's play this. And I think we should go next. We'll do no attacks. End the turn. Okay, pass the blockers. See if they got combat tricks. Combat Tricks Galaw is the name. Okay, so how would this pan out? Okay. Alright, so we'll go and do this. That's a lot of damage. Okay, so let's play our planes. Swing in with the apparition, right? Do you block? Oh ho ho ho! You've fallen into my trap. My trap called Shatter the Sky. All right, sweet. So we've sort of recovered there. Did give them two cards. So this is like a budget. Um, uh, night deck. Very saucy. Protection from each converted mana cost other than four. Alright. Well, that is not great. Not going to lie. So let's go ahead and play our Orvar, right? Orvar can block you, Hactos. Do you dare? Okay, so die. Die again. Do we have enough answers? Is the question. 
This dude playing Hactos over here. Gonna play this as a Misgate pathway. And then we just go next. We end the turn. We could potentially bring back like an Orvar here. But we don't really have anything to kind of combo off with it yet. So not necessarily a huge deal. Taking four here kind of sucks. But now we can two for one. We can Elspeth Conquers Death. Um, yeah. So let's go and Elspeth Conquers Death. Remove the Burning Yard Trainer. And then we'll bring back the Orvar. And then if we get another creature, Defiant Strike ends up being something to double up on the action. Sure. You got it, boss. Who knew a Knight's deck had so many damn creatures? Alright. Boros Knights. Alright, there's that island I've been looking for. Alright, so we're going to play the island. We just go next. End the turn. And we actually do need to draw something better than Orvar. We'll take the three here, I guess. Ooh. This does seem like the deck that would run Embercleave for some reason, so... Oh god. Terrible. Just terrible. Okay, so we could get rid of this, right? Oh man, so tempting to just take this though. I think we got a Skyclave here, right? You got a Skyclave here because we don't really have much to protect ourselves from flyers. So yeah, hopefully we just draw into another Orvar. There's only one in the yard. Rimrock Knight, okay. Gross. Um, sure, go my turn. Oh my god. Not more lands. Okay, that's actually that's actually pretty decent. We go next. We'll do do no attacks and the turn. And now we can enter the royal and draw Claimed Contender. Son of a gun. Alright, sure. Okay. So they can play that as well. And we also hate to see that. So we will pass to blockers. We'll do, I guess, no blocks. And let's just go ahead and kick the Rimrock Knight back to the hand. Sweet. There we go. Now, if only we had the Orvar, right? Because we could be doing some crazy shenanigans. But what I figure I'll probably do is... There we go. Now look at this shit. Okay, so we are in a decent spot here, it looks like. Now what do we want to do though? Um We could bring back so many different things. I think we definitely do shipwreck here. Dream Trawler seems like it would be good as well, so I'm maybe should have done that, but This deck is called Get Shipwrecked, not Get Dream Trawlered. Am I right? I think I'm right. Uh, yeah, we'll get the Shatter. And we're just gonna go next, I think, and do no attacks. End the turn. So if they draw into, like, um, Ember Cleave here, then we are kind of fucked. But I'm willing to, I'm just willing to make these trades. Go here. Go here. And what does this do? Plus one, plus one. So they could pump it twice. Yeah, that's fine. Whatever. Whatever. Play planes. Shatter the sky. And... Do you suppose they have something that could take out our Dream Trawler? I think in case they do, we just go next. We end the turn. Okay. Well, that's horrifying. But we will play Dream Trawler here. Dream Trawler here. And I think we just go next. And we also end the turn. 
We do need to find an answer for this. This is crazy. Becomes block exile that creature until giant grasping giant leaves the battlefield. Sure. Oh yes. Let's go. So we bounce that. They lose the Rimrock Knight. Beautiful. Just beautiful. So I cast the Grasping Giant once more. And you hate to see it. But now I think we can at least race the opponent. It's very nice. Go and uh, swing in. Draw a card. Okay, into the Royal. That's nice. Draw a card. Oh, let's go. Yes. I think we did it. <laughs> we did it to him. Hmm. Okay. So we take six, right? Yeah, we take six. And take six, everybody. And a Fireborn Knight. Sure, 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 sure. You crazy kids. Then you're grasping giants. Alright. Let's go ahead and uh, kick old Dream Trolley. Kick old Dream Trolley back. Then we get to draw a card as well. Sweet. Beautiful. Just beautiful. And uh, yeah, my turn. And we are going to swing in. Draw a card. You love to see it. Gain five. Then we are going to shipwreck Dowser. Bring back into the royal. Into the royal. Play Dream Trawler. Miscate pathway, and we end the turn. Burning yard trainer, okay, okay. You hate to see it. <laughs> we definitely hate to see it, don't we, folks? Okay, so what do we want to do here? We could, we pass the blockers. We can take the 5, 10, 13. Oh, yeah, then we take the 13, right? And we get them to spend the mana on Fireborn Knight. And then... We bounce this. Yes! Let's go! <laughs> oh my god. Oh, you just got shipwrecked. Flippin' nerds! Stay away from my girl, you flippin' nerds! All right, we're going to keep this one. And we'll play the island. Because why not? Because why not indeed, you flippin' nerds? Okay, Agadim's Awakening. Always a great start. We'll play this. Then play Charming Prince and just scry. Scry away. Okay, so there's Orvar. And there's Shipwreck. Uh, we do need more lands, but I'll go and keep the Orvar just because... Come on. We got to do the combo sometime, right? What better time than against a deck with black in it and most likely has plenty of removal? <laughs> Am I right, guys? All right, so we'll play the island and we'll go next and hmm, yeah, we swing in and we just end the turn. We probably will either flicker or defiance EOT on the opponent's turn, depending on what they do. Snow-colored Orvage, Orvage, Orzhov, Angel Spells. Ugh. You hate to see it. Okay. So let's go ahead and... Defiant here, I guess. There we go. Now we'll go my turn. Play the Hengegate Pathway. Uh-huh. So I wonder if this is, like, that Starnheim card? That very well could be what it is. It could also not, though... Could also just swing in. 
Are you willing to trade, you flippin' nerds? Our opponent's down to 16, which means some shenanigans are probably incoming, huh? Okay, so what we do is we Orvar here. Then the opponent's probably going to play either a creature removal spell or a big ol' angel. Poison the cup, sure. Now let's see what else they do. Resplendent Marshal. So they can exile another creature card from the graveyard when it dies. Okay. But also we can play this. And what else can we do? That would just be oh so saucy. We could... Mm, fuck. There's so many uh, questions I have. We'll just go next. We do no attacks. Can we play this as a land? No, we just played a land, so we just end the turn. Yeah, that's fine. Angels are scary, for sure. And the question is, what do we do here? Um, sure. Well, I guess we'll bounce this. Do they have that one angel that flashes in? Because that would be gross. But I'm here to draw a fucking card. Another poison the cup? Maybe. Maybe, baby. Um, let's just go ahead and skyclave here, sure. What I wouldn't do for a good old skyclave. And we will play this as I think we'll just cancel. Um we'll end the turn. We can use this if they don't play anything. Poison the cup, sure, that's fine. We'll let you have your 3-3, three, three, I suppose. Um, so I can play Shipwreck Dowser, bring back an Defiant Strike or something like that. Starnheim! Alright, we'll take the 3. Starnheim for 3. Yeah, so play this. Go and, uh, I guess ECD something. Whatever will we ECD? Can bring back, um, Orvar. That'd be pretty sick. You'll love to see it. I'm starting to feel like Dream Trawler is our main way of taking care of shit. So, play this. Let's go ahead and, uh, Shipwreck Dowser. Bring back an into the royal. Here we should go next. And the turn. You dare swing into me, Bane Slayer Angel? Alright, sure. So we'll bounce that. Then I guess we'll block your 3 3, sure. Then I can bring an Orvar back. Okay, there's the Bane Schleier. Uh, we'll bring the Orvar back, sure. With little extra strength. Alright, so let's go ahead and, uh... Glass Pool Mimic the Shipwreck Dowser. Poison that cup, you son of a bitch! We'll go and copy the shipwreck dowser. Sure. I'll bring back an into the royal. <laughs> Cause why not? And we'll do Yeah, we'll swing in. I'm cool with trading here, actually. See what kind of shenanigans we can do here. Angel of Destiny. Okay. So, what can we do here? We can into the royal some shit, I guess. Hmm. Do we swing in on this, dude? This is double strike? I actually think we go no attacks. We play the shipwreck dowser. 
Bring back into the royal. And we just end the turn here. Okay. Lid Island. Kick the Bane Slayer. Bounce up. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty three. Shall we dance? Righteous Valkyrie, okay. So they gain some life off of that. Just gross. Play the planes. Remove that. Swinging with everything here. Oh my god, we did it. We did it. Uh, that was beautiful. Be beautiful. And by the way, you flippin' nerds, you just got shipwrecked. Alright folks, this looks like the perfect place to end today's video, and what can I say? We shipwrecked the opponents, and this deck was crazy. It was really fun, um, pretty janky as you could see, but once you get the combo off, it is just hilarious because we're just creating tons and tons of copies of Shipwreck Dowser with Orvar, the All Forms ability, and we're able to get so much value off of our cheap instants. Yeah, overall this deck was super fun, I had a blast playing it. Um, I recommend it if you have the cards already, otherwise it is just kind of like a really janky Azor deck, you know, that plays pseudo control with our Shatters and Elspeth Conquers deaths, as well as our Skyclave Apparitions. But ultimately, yeah, I'm sure there's a better iteration of this out there. I just wanted to have fun exploiting Orvar the All Forms ability along with Shipwreck Dowser, and we did it. The opponents got shipwrecked. But yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed the deck as much as I enjoyed playing it, and if you did, please remember to destroy the like and subscribe buttons below. It's not just a great way to support my channel, which means the world to me guys it also allows the youtube algorithm to share this video and the rest of my videos with even more mtg fans out there and that means a ton to me because i am trying to grow the slayers den community but not only that it shows youtube that i'm not just some crappy content creator i'm someone that you enjoy and someone that other mtg fans will enjoy as well so thank you guys again so so much and i'll see you in the next one thank you guys so much for checking out the video if you enjoyed it Please remember to smash that like button below and to help you stay up to date with my upcoming videos, make sure to hit that subscribe button as well. Thanks again, have a great day, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out, Slayers.